Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. And in today's episode, I would like to share with you how to generate dummy data. And there is plenty of content about this online, but I would like to create some episodes in the future about um, generating or just creating reports and dashboards and just uh, dig a little bit deeper uh, into dashboard components. And for this reason, the data I've got in my I mean, my trailhead is not enough and I would like to gather some more data and for this reason I'll just go online and uh, I will generate some fake data and uh, it, I, I think you might find this useful as well if you want to practice with some, with some reporting and just um, doing something that is not in your production environment. Alright, and here I will just go on and I will find a website for generating semi data. I will just try it. Generate dummy data and uh, I have used one of the sites before. It was a while ago. Maybe it was even the Makaru. Yes, it was a Makaru or it looked just like this like just like this website and um, each for generating uh, fake data you just need to think what data are you looking to import whether contacts or accounts and uh, if you're planning if you're planning to import some more contact uh, contact detail then you will need to later gather some of your account information and then match them with some with, with contacts that you have generated here um, on the fake data generator now I will go, I know that I definitely have some accounts already in, uh, in my Salesforce trailheads. And I'll, all right, now we have uh, in Salesforce, I've got, I, it was a few weeks, maybe a couple of months ago, I imported some, some fake data. Here you can see various random account names and some of them, they should have at least one or two contacts. In the related list, you can see there is one contact. One contact is not really enough. It's not that much. It's only one contact to work with. But at the same time, I don't really often use this information. And um, I haven't generated any reports and dashboards just yet in here. And I will, I will just get some more contact details. I will get some more um, people to work with. And uh, for this reason, I will go and I will, I will select, I will select some contacts to import. Now I will remove ID. Salesforce will generate uh, its own unique ID. What I need is a first name, last name, email address. I will not really need gender, and I will, I won't need IP address. And if I open any of my random accounts, and if I go into contacts and I open contacts, what do I really see in here in the details page? I want to think what information am I, am I trying to, to import? Maybe titles, I could use titles. I will have accounts, they'll be linked to my accounts. They will have names, phone numbers. A phone would be a good field for me to import. And uh, let's select here is a search bar and I'll just type in phone, phone number. Now I can check as well, um, but I've got phone, phone type looks like a US phone number. And uh, here, I think you can also specify, I think this would, this would match my Salesforce environment. Yes, I guess, I guess this will work. And uh, job title, I can also find the job title. And this would be phone. And let's say job title. Uh, we've got email address and we've got everything else is blank. Now it depends what exactly am I trying to do with this data later. And perhaps this is going to be enough. 
as I already have some contacts here in, in Salesforce and I would like to use all of them. And all right, so I've got selected 1000. So this uh, generator will provide me with the 1000 fake contact contacts uh, in, in a CSV file format. And do I really need to change? I'll just keep it like as it is. I will include headers. And if I need to get any more data, I can just return to this page and just generate some more data. Now I will go ahead and I will then download this data or I can also preview. So before downloading, you can just preview and later for importing reasons, uh, you, you can see it will look so you have for first name, last name, email, phone, and job title. That's pretty much what I'm looking for. And I'll just double check. Yes, we have various random job titles and I will download the data. Now what I'm going to do, I will just go back to Salesforce and in setup, All right, I will actually not really import anything right now as I want to match them with the accounts I've got already um, in the system. Yes. Uh, this right here. Now I would need to do some more work with this just to make sure that I can correctly match it to some accounts that I already have on the system. But this is pretty much how you can just get some fake data and later match it up.
So I will just go set up and import this data. With the data import wizard. how you generate and import some fake data in cells into Salesforce. Just first of all, by using an external site where you can um, generate data, then it depends how you are importing this data. Usually I use data loader, but for this purpose, I was using um, a data import wizard and uh, it is slightly different. I actually began with extracting um, account IDs and I didn't have to. I just have to use account name and match with the account name. Uh, in my sheet, I actually just pasted all data and I had around 200 records or so. And I just made sure that I have at least three or four contacts, new contacts in each account. And um, yes, as you can see, the final result, I just double checked to generate another report. And I can see that the created da date was today. 1st of December, and uh, these are all 1,000 records that I extracted from the external website. So this is it. That's what I was looking for. And uh, I hope it didn't take too long. And uh, you can also use this uh, in your, in your, I don't know, sandboxes or maybe your trailhead <laughs> where you will be practicing. And one of my next videos will be about uh, reporting and dashboard and uh, creating reports and dashboards. And um, maybe I will, in the back, I will just create some more data and field and I'll think what exactly I want to build, but uh, I will definitely share this with you guys and uh, hope you found this video useful as well. Thanks a lot, bye-bye.
Thank you.